This tutorial is on the Mechanism version 10 Supercritical Phase Shifter. To build the SPS, you will require the following. 92 SPS casings, 8 SPS ports, 118 structural glass, and 6 supercharged coils. Here's how you build it. The SPS works by providing it with polonium you produce from the nuclear waste of the fission reactor and lots of power. The more power you provide, the faster the SPS works. The SPS will work if you have a single port connected to power. However, if you want to improve the rate of production, you should input multiple ports. If the SPS is a little too hungry for your power grid, you can limit its power drain by using smaller cables. Once the SPS is running, it will continuously produce antimatter. Antimatter takes an extremely long time to produce. Also, within the menu, you can view the energy that's being input into it, as well as how quickly you're processing antimatter. Once it's running, you can extract the antimatter using pressurized tubes, and you use a configurator to change the port mode to out. From there, you can send the antimatter into a chemical crystallizer to make antimatter pellets used for mecha suit upgrades, or you can send it to the antiprotonic nucleosynthesizer. Unless you have an incredible capacity to create nuclear waste, I do not think the antiprotonic nucleosynthesizer is any more convenient than simply placing a digital miner somewhere. You'll mostly be wanting the antimatter pellets. Alright, that's it for the SPS. Thank you for watching!